take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The FDA has approved hydrogen peroxide 40% topical solution, Escada, Aclaris Therapeutics, for treatment of raised seborrheic keratoses, SKs, in adults. It is the first drug to be approved for this indication. Hydrogen peroxide is available over the counter for topical use as a 3% solution. Make your mark, take our lead. Topical treatment with Tazeratine Cream 0.1% applied twice daily for 16 weeks caused clinical improvement in seborrheic keratoses in 7 of 15 patients. In 2017, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, approved a concentrated hydrogen peroxide 40% solution Escada, for adults with raised seborrheic keratosis. Make your mark, take our lead. If patients apply a mixture of frankincense essential oil in a castor carrier oil to seborrheic keratosis for the duration of one month, then the coloration and appearance of seborrheic keratosis will decrease. Let's help you make your mark. How to do it? All you have to is just take a small piece of cotton, dip it in the apple cider vinegar and dab on the affected area. Do this step many times a day and night and within two or three months, you will the patches are going away for good. Take our lead. Today, it is voluntarily discontinuing the commercialization of Escada, hydrogen peroxide, topical solution, 40%, with W, Escada, in the United States due to the fact that revenues from product sales were insufficient for Aclaris to sustain continued commercialization as a result of the product not achieving sufficient. Take our lead. Keratosis Polaris Home Remedies. Take warm baths. Taking short, warm baths can help to unclog and loosen pores. Exfoliate. Daily exfoliation can help improve the appearance of the skin. Apply hydrating lotion. Avoid tight clothes. Use humidifiers. Make your mark, take our lead. Liquid nitrogen is not available over the counter. Instead, the product that removes warts in a similar process uses dimethyl ether. It only cools to about 59 degrees below zero Celsius, whereas liquid nitrogen reaches approximately 195 degrees below zero Celsius. Both will cause serious injury if used improperly. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.